Camilla Harris struggles to speak after teleprompter appears to stop working. It was so unnerving watching this. It was creepy. It was uh, sad a little bit. Uh, she has absolutely no charisma. Uh, if something like this would have happened to Trump, Trump would have he would have quipped. He would have joked about it. He would have said something about the teleprompter or something. He would have made something. He could have he could have talked to, he could have talked and said something. If uh, something like this would have happened to him, he would have joked about it because we all know Trump is hilarious. But again, Camilla Harris has absolutely no charisma. She's she's so robotic, so inauthentic that when the teleprompter went up, she just stood there and looked uncomfortable. It was so weird. So we're going to play that clip. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my X account. So follow me there as well. All right. So let's talk about this news. Now, this comes from the Daily Caller <clears throat> um, from Juliana Freeman. And she reports that... Vice President Kamala Harris, the 2024 Democratic presidential nominee, struggled to form sentences Friday when her teleprompter appeared to stop working mid-speech. I mean, and things like this happen. You got to be able to uh, speak off the cuff or something. But Harris repeated the phrase 32 days multiple times at a Michigan rally when an apparent teleprompter glitch left her standing up stranded to speak without pre-written words. Just after referencing Magic Johnson, Harris said, quote, remember this number, 32. Today we have 32 days until the election before pausing visibly uncomfortable as she looked around at the quieting crowd. It's unclear if the teleprompter did in fact stop working or if the vice president simply gaffed. I, I, I think the teleprompter went out from what it looks like. Look, um, she said, so 32 days, Harris said, appearing to wait for the teleprompter to work again. 32 days. Here we go. It's so, it's so, so cringe. Here we go. Remember his number? 32. Today we got 32 days until the election. <laughs> Go that cackle. So 32 days. 32 days. Okay, we got some business to do. We got some business to do. All right. 32 days. And we know we will do it. What? And we will do it. And this is going to be a very tight race until the very end. This is going to be a very tight race until the very end. We are the underdog, and we know we have some hard work ahead. It's just, it was this sad. Hard to watch. Hard to watch. <laughs> um, the Trump campaign pounced on Harris' apparent struggle to speak without script, saying the vice president, quote, had absolutely no idea what to do or say. Harris, who replaced President Joe Biden on uh, the Democratic ticket 76 days ago, has yet to take questions in a formal press release because she uh, a press conference because she can't. She won't be able to articulate anything. I mean, she asks a question and she just looks like a deer in a headlight. So, of course, she won't take any questions, uh, questions from like uh, from the press. Um, imagine her having to speak off the cuff without anything prepared. We have not yet. We have yet to see that. We have yet to see her talk about anything that wasn't scripted the harris campaign has been uh characterized by limited media access as the president um, um as the vice president and her running mate minnesota governor tim waltz first addressed uh the press in a joint cnn interview in late august which was just weird both of them sitting down for the interview was super weird but harris also appeared with oprah winfrey on september 19th for unite for america rally featuring a-list celebrities including Meryl Streep, Chris Rock, Ben Stiller, Julia Roberts, and Jennifer Lopez. And she, even with the softball questions, she was she was messing up. And the vice president granted MSNBC's uh, Stephanie Rowe a one-on-one -on -one sit-down interview in late September. Harris criticized 2024 Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump's economic policy proposals and reiterated the disputed claim that she served McDonald's food on a sesame seed bun and did fries as a former fast food employee. We got no, absolutely no proof showing that she did that. But Harris is set to appear 
on the popular Call Her Daddy podcast in an interview about abortion she taped Tuesday with host Alex Cooper, a campaign spokesperson confirmed to Axios. Nobody cares. I've never even heard of that podcast. It's, I don't know what she. I don't know what her strategy really is because whatever they're doing is not working. But they continue to double down on this strategy for some reason, which is just crazy. And then um, a lot of people alluding to her being drunk or on drugs and things like that. Not a good look. Not a good look, Democrat Party. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.